<laughs> Thank you.
Unbelievable! Wow, already getting already getting attitude from Anne. <laughs> big, 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 uh, big mood from somebody whose character uh, might just get trapped in an alternate reality for the rest of the chronicle. <laughs> oh, how's it going, Dispel's place? And uh, Ortorius, my friend, been a minute since I, I've seen you uh, hanging around. Feel free to lurk. And uh, North Shore uh, GM. Oh shit! Wow, we got a canine. We got canine like, We got people here. in like we're coming to watch. What, what's what, what, hmm. Good job having Hi, nothing else, nothing better to do, everyone. Thanks for Charles, being here. Fox, I've been on the edge of my seat for 45 minutes. Oh, did you are you all are you fully caught up? Are you fully current? Yeah, he's fully caught up. Mm, oh, oh, or if you can I know you might fully have work edge. and stuff like that, but if we if you get to the where things are going tonight, my friend. Oh, he's caught yeah, he's caught up. Mm. So by the way, everyone. Uh, in, in the words it's all, of uh, it's all that matters. In the words of uh, Invader Zim, prepare your bladders for imminent release. Also, doom, doom, doom. Is this? <laughs> no more. All right. Now. Well, let's. You know what? Just a uh, content let's warning. Let's get this disaster yeah, like, rolling. Let's, let's go. Let's cut content warning it up. What's up. the content? Hey, hey K Night Chronicles. Big learning, painting the crimson court. Bueno, I uh, I actually uh, will be playing some Warhams. I'm teaching my son how to play Warhammer uh, this coming Saturday, uh, and uh, one of my friends yeah. who's never played Warhammer, uh, who's never played Age of Sigmar since like Second Ed, and one of his friends who's never played anything besides 40k, uh, both expressed to me their powerful need to pay the tithe. So I will be collecting their bones this weekend as well. 
<laughs> the, war, the war of the hymn. See, I, I, I'm really like, I'm not just a storyteller who loves spooky and vampire stuff. It doesn't matter where I am in the universe. Uh, I like spooky. And so even in Warhams, I play the spooky armies like Ossiarch Bone Reapers and Soul Blight Gravelords. So, um, I feel like whoever yeah. wins should have to make ham for everyone else. I feel like whoever wins, it'll be me because I'm teaching my son how to play fucking Warhammer. Or loses there. Yeah. As long as there's ham. Your OBR died to trees. Oh, <laughs> You're curious how to, how, uh, to see how hungry these vampires are? Well, currently they're not vampires. Spoiler. What vampires? <laughs> vampires don't exist in this world. This isn't a vampire chronicle. This is suddenly a mage chronicle with a changeling with in a, it. With a dash of changeling. Yeah, yeah just... <laughs> if you're, I see you're a first time chatter. If you're just now jumping in, you picked a doozy of an episode to join on. <laughs> Welcome to. Uh... Welcome to. But hey, <laughs> treat every. Uh, I can like know what this first. is. I'm gonna go ahead and tap the content warning sign uh, and uh, just let a let a player. Yeah, right. Did Shelly already got nominated. Oh, oh like, did I? Okay, I think you did. I mean, yeah, Charles. Okay. Kinda... Did Charles nominate me? That sounds. It, right. I mean, he tagged you and he mentioned content warning, and I think that's like nominating you. Yeah. Thanks, Charles. <laughs> Not me. I'll speed up. But yeah, go ahead. The following show takes place in the world of darkness and explores narratives of personal horror. This story is a work of fiction and is not official World of Darkness material. Many of the themes are portrayed from a place of empathy, but may, may be uncomfortable to some listeners. Episodes may contain coarse language, sexual content, mental and emotional abuse, violence, mental illness, and blood. Always lots of blood. Viewer discretion is advised. Portions of the materials are the copyrights and trademarks of Paradox Interactive AB and are used with permission. All rights reserved. For more information, please visit worldofdarkness.com. Thank you for watching in Lithology. We hope you've enjoyed the story thus far and invite you to like, follow, and subscribe on Twitch or your favorite player. By doing this, you will help support the show <laughs> and get updates when our next episode goes live. If you would like to be part of our community, you can follow us on Twitter <coughs> and join our Discord. All links are in that place down there. The down there part. Yes, the Mom doobly says. do. The down there part. You know, I I was this close to editing the uh, the content warning to actually say the down there part because I got I'm I'm getting tired of uh, of y'all having not a fight between there. all of us. <laughs> it's Thank the down you. there. <laughs> Thank you. Bits for the novel and the hype of catching an off. <clears throat> so live back to lurking. Yeah, yeah, lurking always encouraged. Bits for the novel. My novel that I'm stuck on? Okay. Never mind. We don't talk about that. That's a different horror show where I just like drink and sob in the corner and like. Oh, no. But look, inspiration comes from somewhere. And I take out all of my unfulfilled uh, potential on y'all. Uh, and Thanks. you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, hmm. I think. Player recap. So, I, I feel like this is um, a turning over of a new leaf, uh, in a sense that 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 we took but one week off that was pseudo scheduled because it was uh, you know, our end of the month week off. Uh, it it just I just moved it up and then I actually played the week I switched it with. Which, you know, two weeks in a row, I just, I think we're doing pretty good. It probably helps that I have all of my medication now that I'm, I'm, Yay! I was, yeah. Yay! Yeah. yeah. Uh, brain so, balance. Uh, brain balance, that's right. Uh, <laughs> so, a couple weeks back, um, our coterie, don't call them a coterie, uh, found themselves in a world where vampires do not exist. Um, they they were much themselves in ways 
uh, Ashley and Rory discovered that they had a gift for. So I'm getting. I'm hearing myself. Uh, I think it's Anne. Maybe. I went away. <clears throat> nope. I'm back. Nope. There we go. All right. Um, the uh, they were you know they're similar to themselves. Uh, Ashley Dame uh, discovered. Well, not discovered. It's it's sort of been hinted at uh, even in the. Uh, Miss Dame, you're familiar with her universe that uh, her family had the gift. Uh, and uh, Miss, uh, Miss Dame, uh, in this reality, they currently find themselves in the sort of lines blurring together of, of some different worlds. They uh, ha had the gift in this world. Rory, uh, who I'd call kind of our POV, really, in a sense, um, found himself in a world where the sun didn't hurt him either living or dead. Um, and he has kind of everything he's ever wanted in a wife and full-blown majory powers, uh, uh, hints to a coven, uh, but something feels off for him. And Sasha, wait, Lexi uh, has, you know, successfully navigated the her, her college years uh, with uh, slightly fewer massacres uh, at her hand <coughs> uh, to sort of go on to uh, being on the cusp of, of really, you know, sort of being someone, you know, uh, sort of promised her her own exhibit uh, at an up in an up and coming neighborhood in Chicago in Chi-Town uh, curated, uh, of course, by uh, Miss Dame. Um, but she sort of found herself tapping into an other world, uh, not just in the multiple reality sense, but uh, just say that she's found herself changed. Yeah, as in changeling, that was a changeling pun, everybody. Um, <laughs> uh, she, unlike the others, actually confronted herself directly in a place uh, called the spiral room that we find through the crooked door. The crooked door is, of course, well, it's that closet you never go into. It's that one hallway where you work that you've never turned down and you've always kind of wondered where it led. You know, it's the, the window you don't ever look out of except for just one night something uh, one night your gaze happens upon it and it for a blink of an eye seems like you've looked into a different world well in this world it's called the crooked door and and uh lexi uh found it and ended up in the spiral room where she confronted herself and uh, well, let's just say it was a, I mean, those episodes are just really goddamn good, but I think there's a clip of one of, uh, uh from that specific encounter is, is the most recent clip. That's pretty fucking great. Um, Ashley, on the other hand, just can't stand this world or I'm beginning to think any world, uh, and struck a deal with a familiar face under hey. as he's known uh he was known in some one reality as the as um the static man but ashley learned that her grandma knew him by a different name and ashley herself gave him yet another name see beings like this and you know, they don't really have names until they're given them right and uh, Ashley named him Mr. Whisper, which I think is pretty fucking metal. Um, of course, Ashley was non-specific as to the terms of the deal, so she's just given me a blank check with her soul. Uh, or what may remain of it if we ever get back to our reality that we know. I was like, we all know Ashley don't have a soul, let's be real. We all know from the 90s movie that blank checks are great. Wow, that's a deep cut. <laughs> that was um, 
Where'd that knife come from? Jeez, that's a deep cut. <laughs> I'm I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> wow. And uh We heard a crash as we sort of uh, let the camera sort of point upward uh, into into the you know sort of credits, as it were, you know, for uh, for the episode. And uh, as uh, Lexi and Rory sort of embraced and and Ashley was like, fuck this place. <laughs> Which is where our gaze will land with everyone roughly in the sa on the same block. Right, her name is sexy now. Uh <laughs> Uh, all the uh, characters just so happen to be uh, within the same vicinity of this this car accident. Um, and that's where we'll sort of pick things up with the uh, sirens uh, uh, spiraling around everyone's heads like halos, uh, like electric halos, uh, shattering glass and then putting it back together again as it sort of streaks around, right? on the wobbly surfaces of, of of the area. Did I miss a car accident? Uh you would have heard it. You're in the alleyway, you and okay. you and you and um uh you Sexy. and Lexi. Yeah. You and Lexi. And uh Ashley Dame uh we'll we sort of left her perspective so we'll pick up with Rory and and Right. Cuts. Not so going to call you back. Sasha. Yeah. Okay, so we just heard this happen. Yeah. Yeah, you just heard this happen. Did you? Um, Was that in my head and your head? Uh... No, no, I definitely heard that. And she points kind of at the end of the alley. And uh, Okay. Um, we should we should help. If right. We can. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, she's sprinting. <laughs> All right. I'm, uh, I am on my rollerblades. <laughs> That's right. You're on your damn rollerblades. She, she's uh, just live. <laughs> you uh, protrude from the alleyway. Uh, Ashley, your gaze sort of out the, the front window of, of the storefront. You know, it's not really a storefront, but I can't think of any other synonym for that right now, but. You know, bay of windows yeah like a bay of windows museum. out out under the sh uh, out under the street and you can see uh you know uh folks beginning to gather as they tend to uh in the face of catastrophe um i have a question because this is the 90s uh do i see a payphone nearby oh of course you do yeah I'm gonna go to a payphone because after I see the accident, I'm gonna go to a payphone. Then, yeah, All right. You, yeah, you you do. call nine one one. I will see what see what what what. Yeah. Uh, Ashley, a a voice sort of off to your side. We never did. Discuss price. And you find your gaze, whether you want it or not, drawn to the uh, crooked body of a man you both recognize and don't. Uh, just sort of like tangled and mangled up. Uh, some sedan has has collided with him, uh, just a, just beyond the crosswalk, and it, it, uh, it is definitely Sam. Sam won. What? What? Um, what price? 
Exactly. Well, you don't get to go the places I can take you. You don't get to have my guiding hand without a cost. Some artists have been driven mad from the sights I've shown them. Well, I'm not an artist, so... Which makes this peculiar and... What is, what is it that you're asking for? Well, I'm taking him. That's non-negotiable. Okay. But where I'm taking you, there will be others like him. What do you mean? You'll see. I ask for both of them. See, good things really do come in threes. Why? I'm afraid explanations on this aren't part of the deal. You just need to know that cost for someone like you. Well, the price is a lot more esoteric now, isn't it? A little money means nothing. What I'm interested in is, well, what, uh, what if I can give you someone else, some others? No, both. What do you care? You don't even know who I'm talking about, do you? Fine. Then in the vernacular of your kind, ready to blow this hot dog stand Or is it Popsicle? Popsicle stand. (laughs) And she just puts her hand out towards him. You find... Without looking. You find your... You find a doorknob. Okay. Uh, What are Rory and uh, Lexi doing? She's calling 911 while I'm checking on the car crash. Uh, you see the mangled and broken body of a uh, sort of like curly, sandy haired um, young man, somewhere in his 20s. Um, is he obviously dead? I think it's. How bad is it? <sighs> It's closed casket bad. He's his form is twisted into unnatural shapes. His face is pristinely recognizable. It's the rest of him that looks like he's been used in a game of cat's cradle by some just uncaring holy fuck. horrible thing. The car could have done this in that, like, it can smash a body and, you know, physics it into it, across the road and it can tangle and tumble and stuff like that. But there's almost a malice that you just feel. Uh, 
the way a, a kid might lose interest in a toy and just start to twist and turn it about to try to make it into some new form so that it's interesting hey. again. Is, then the face is familiar? Not to Not, you. No. Okay, so this or, okay. And you don't know you never I don't believe you knew Sam one. In any in, in the other reality, I don't believe nobody no, neither one of them did. No. Yeah. Right. All right. God damn. Uh tell them uh there's no need to rush, babe. The driver. Uh, yeah, uh, um, no. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, no, Lexi just makes the call and does that while this is happening. So I don't know how long it would take. Probably not that long. Yeah, you see um, the driver is just pretty much in shock. Uh, in the 90s, there weren't a lot of, like, fiberglass frames and quarter panels and stuff. They were all steel. Um and uh, this, is there another big the driver of the vehicle. There's this, you know, sort of red sedan. Oh, is it? Oh, it was a. I thought I thought he drove into the building. Okay. Was, okay. No, it hit him in the crosswalk and just like. Okay. Oh, right, right, yeah. Play that. <laughs> uh, well, in that case, yeah, I will check. Well, on the driver's got like at least a, a, a front side uh, uh, airbag, you know, that they're yeah. that's deployed. I, I wasn't going that fast. I I didn't even have my foot on the accelerator. It's not your fault. Just breathe. I, I just... Are they okay? Are they... Oh, God. Uh, they start just like... Turn they, their head away from the carnage. Uh, they... Maybe it's the image. Maybe it's just the thought of what they've done, or, or, or combination of. They begin to hurl out the, their window or or into their like passenger seat uh, floorboard. You know. Yeah. I just I. I know. I. I, I didn't. I, I didn't even have my foot on the accelerator. All right. Just let it out. Someone will be here soon. Not your fault. Uh, I think I want to imprint that, like, magically. Like, it's not your fault. Okay. Uh, so mind or life uh, yeah. would be one of those two sphere, uh, spheres. And uh, hell, both of them, if you got them. Mind and life. Yeah. Well... That is three whole dice. All right. Uh, you could use what's uh, called a point of quintessence, which we haven't really dealt with because we're doing some quick and dirty rules here. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd say you have like maybe two points of quintessence. So we can say you use a point of quintessence to uh, essentially make this succeed. Okay. Do I still need to roll? Or... No. Okay. Yeah. No, the, the quintessence is like mana, you know, okay. um, but it's yeah. it's not as like um, easy to come yeah. by, and yeah. you don't spend it as like usually like mages can pretty readily influence reality, especially in ways that don't include uh, paradox, uh, you know, like making someone's shoelaces be untied so that they they trip over them is a pretty classic entropy thing. It wouldn't really cause mm -hmm. uh, have cause for it, like using quintessence or anything like that uh were you to like teleport a gun into your trench coat 
via correspondence so that it's there and you can pull it out. Like you have a gun in your nightstand and you want to teleport it into your trench coat so that you can pull it out and shoot someone. That might take quintessence depending on your storyteller. Um, if you want to throw a fireball at somebody, I would say it definitely takes some quintessence. But uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, t- you can also do some other stuff with it. And in this case, I'll allow it to you're really sort of pulling from the sort of like primal energies of, of the nature of reality and, and, and the human soul stuff or, or, or yeah. Gaia or whatever your, you know, understanding of, of <sighs> your sort of magic being and self is uh, to, to really sort of imprint this on the person. Yeah. They uh, sort of, essentially uh fumble out of the car like the door and and like at your thighs and and they just kind of grab and, and begin like sobbing uh uh into your jeans uh yeah i'll kneel down and like hold them right. oh who doesn't love a little Kaldunic magic we've already had some uh, pretty rad rad stuff Regarding some Kaldunism. I'm a big fan of Zemisi. Um. <laughs> it's okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. Accidents happen. You are not to blame. Something is... Something, not you. What is Lexi doing? Uh, obviously, it was called, just about yeah, the, that was the, yeah. It was like just about um, to like yeah, yeah, GTA, I think <laughs> made the phone call. Um, there's there's a part of her that wants to do something right now but it's kind of fighting with a different part of her that just doesn't know what to do so i think she's going to uh she's going to um mm, she's going to attempt to um i guess first of all assess the situation herself because she doesn't know because she didn't she went to make the phone call and she doesn't actually know what's going on so she's gonna take that in for a second and then try to figure out what to do um hmm. see i know what sasha would do there's these two halves of a hole in her brain right now that are like fucking with each other, so I don't know what to do. Sounds like it's um, a lot of fun for you to navigate via your role play. <laughs> yeah, it's great. So she's just gonna, um... No, nope, nope. Not gonna do that. Not gonna do that either. Oh, <laughs> brain! Um, uh... <laughs> she is going to look at the person with Rory and just say, is this, is this guy okay? She's trying to actively not look at the other car because now she's like, oh, yeah, car. No, yeah. yeah. vehicle versus pedestrian. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't feel any injuries. Yeah, are you are you hurt at all? Are you? I don't. I don't think so. You... This other person, no. Oh, it's like... a pedestrian, not a not a different car. No, the okay. the vehicle driver, the the driver has now come out of the vehicle and is sort of like. Crump, uh, knelt essentially at at Rory's uh, rollerblades. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say feet, but they're rollerblades. Um, uh, and uh, oh. the ghoul, f- formerly a person, formerly a Sam, is uh, just sort of, you know, formerly the Sam. Sort of has been just sort of crumpled up like a piece of paper and just tossed, uh, you know, a gory mess, just, 
you know, feet away from the vehicle. Um, right. uh, Lex, if you could just make sure that nobody approaches too close, just keep the bystanders away. Yeah, I can. I can do that. Yeah. Um, um, she, she also keeps an eye maybe out run, for the ambulance. Run into the yeah. gallery and find something to cover the body, please. I, yeah, I. I mean, I guess I don't know, and she'll just. Um, okay, it's she'll not... go. It's she'll fine. she'll pull off her like cardigan, I guess, and just kind of toss it over the body too to see if she can help it. Just like um, yeah, I'm gonna go. It'll cover part of it in any case. She's trying, okay, yeah. and she runs off to the to the uh, gallery. Uh, so as that was happening. Ashley Dame felt the handle of the door that she didn't remember being right there. She opened it, and all it took was opening it. So by the time Lexi uh, is to the gallery, there is no trace of Ashley Dame. As if she, you know, left hours before. It's just She's just gone. Um, and there are more than a few sort of like white canvas claws, like really, you know, the really big ones, uh, the tarps and stuff like that, uh, uh, you know, choose your pick type thing. The, your, When you pull one off of one of the exhibits, sort of just like the nearest one in in your rush, it was covering up a sort of like a modern art piece, like this mannequin. And you just get this chill. Mm -hmm. Mannequin's been posed like provocatively. It's it's had like art, you know, uh, drawn on it. It's very like pop art, very, uh, you know, very very uh, you know, uh, this is anti consumerism, like sort of hacky college kid sort of thing where uh, part of it is very realistic. Uh, you know, the humans have become the mannequins, have become have become the humans. You know, commerce is bad, capitalism, go fuck yourself. Very, like I said, hacky. But when you stare at it, it's... This dread. This, this accompanying deja vu. They sort of, like, spiral in your guts and... Uh, you half expect it to lunge at you as you pull the shawl back. You're relieved when it doesn't, and then you remember the horror outside. Um, yeah, so I take, I take the, um, oh, I, I kind of take the cover off of this thing, and I just, I sprint. And uh, then I cover the rest of the body. Like, you know, I, I take the tarp or whatever and just cover it up. And then I had this thought. And if Rory is watching, he'll just see Lexi sprint back into the, sprint back into the, into the alley. So you, you don't go too far. We have to. We have to give a statement. Sprint. Go. <laughs> Whatever. It's just all an ass. Okay. So you like no response. Drape the thing over the over the corpse uh, yeah. over over Sam one, <laughs> um, and head back into the alley. 
the mural of various uh, chalk drawings and stuff await you. And the door still inactive, still can't see through it? Still inactive, yeah. Hmm. Uh, so mm. it has been, the, the drawing has changed. Not like erased and been re redrawn. The door is ajar, and you can see a person walking, like like two people walking hand in hand. It's it's like a perspective drawing, where like the door is open and you can see through the crack two people with their hand like hands walking, you know, just into the into you know the people, the people middle I recognize? Space. It's just do I recognize crude chalk. people? It's crude just... chalk drawing. Um, in a dramatic sense uh i think Anne recognizes that that this would represent uh ashley dame uh but you can't access it it's the drawing has just kind of rearranged itself to show these two figures sort of have stepped through this crooked door and are like walking somewhere and so 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 lexi has a thought but you can't go through the door again presently correct correct it's um, not like it was before where you could kind of feel and you sort of like drew your way into it um it's different it's is there any way she can force her will onto this door and make it go if she draws something else on this door she just says, fuck you, your I door open, please. I really want to see where this goes. <laughs> so spend a willpower and tell me your idea. Okay. I'm going to spend the willpower to do this because I think it's really great. So there's one thing, there's one thought in Lexi's brain right now. And it is her counterpart telling her that no matter what happens, she always comes back to the 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 room, right? Like mm -hmm. it's the it's the part of her brain that's just focused on this. It's like I always come back here. I'm I like, always okay, bitch. Up. If you always come back here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. If you always end up here, I'm gonna find you. And the next time you show up here, I'm gonna drag your ass through this door, and you're gonna help me. So that's kind of the train of thought Lexi has right now. And I, I don't know if it's gonna work, but that's kind of like she's trying to get back to the room. And if there's someone there, she's just gonna drag them out to help her. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she she's not very smart. There's like some water that's collected in a you know bucket beneath like a, a downspout. Mm -hmm. And you like throw mm -hmm. the water on, on the on the part of the crooked door where it's it's open and you grab a fistful of chalk and you begin uh, arting. Perform please for me. Charisma <laughs> charisma performance. Let's uh, see this. Okay. 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 Yikes. Okay. That's three dice for that. Um. And two more dice for that. This is going to end up so great for me. I like where this is going. It's fine. Uh, of course you do. I am unsure how I feel about All right. it. Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> uh, I put a ring on it. I'm obligated. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's three successes. It's just a cloud of blur of artists trying to fix this door and trying to get back in. She's going to get some help. Like before, uh, you draw the door. Your version of it, of course, right? Before you sort of encounter the, Very the door in the alleyway. Very fancy-ass door, actually. Ooh, you go fancy with it. Nice. All right, so you draw like a fancy-ass well, door. Well, I mean, three... Three, three successes worth of fancy, okay? Let's not get yeah, scared. Average is, <laughs> you know, like average difficult to make it worth, like you're rolling, uh, like I'm making you roll d dice. The average is like two. Three is like decently difficult. Above Four is like really door. hard. Yeah, it's above average <laughs> it's, door. It's, it's an above average But you're door. also a skilled artist and that comes through 
besides. So it's okay. it's a really solidly if you had time and you put more into it, like it would be, you know, art, uh, it would be display worthy at that, that gallery across the street. But yeah, it's still like somebody walks down this alley, like, damn, that's a really awesome door. And with chalk, that's insane. You know, it's uh, relatively speaking, it's, it's pretty goddamn good. Uh, and like before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think the vantage point of where the accident is. No, you can't. You you saw Lexi head into the yeah, alleyway down the alley. Yeah. Okay. Um. I had to check. <laughs> uh. Because it's like up and around the corner, you know, like it's not directly in front of the alley, so you don't exactly see. Um. And like before, you sort of like you you draw the handle right, and you drew a key before, and and the whole thing. And you sort of reach for the handle, and it's not so much that you like grab the two, like you grab this two dimensional space. It's more like you sort of can feel this sort of like vibration between the art and your palm, and that's almost what you like grip onto. And you you hear a door creak and click open, you know, and you pull, and then you find yourself in a waiting room of a hospital. everything has this green tint to it like all the exit signs you know traditionally red but there are some like you know i've seen seen some that are green Uh, all the exit signs have this green light uh, are are lit green instead of red and they all cast this like this ambient green light over everything they're the only source of light in this room they paint everything green and there's a little uh sort of spinning door that you can exit out of uh out into like what must be a parking lot or, or an emergency uh, where the emergency pull up would be. And it shouldn't be a spinning door, by the way, that that is not what a hospital should have. And that strikes you immediately as incorrect. Okay. Okay. And, Uh, and (sighs) there aren't people here, but you hear the voices of conversation as though there are people in this waiting room with you. I'm, I'm on all I'm of the end the- on all of the like little end tables there are magazines and every magazine features Sasha. I'm looking for her. I'm like, looking for the person in, that looks like in me. All of the crazy <laughs> like it's essentially like every magazine is a you know some sort of like uh you know maybe we'll call it like a parody of like a real and actual magazine from our reality right like it, you know it might be like rolling stone or something like that and then it's got like sasha on the cover uh in a band you know it it, it you know you might see like uh uh you sasha know, and fish and tackle yeah fish and tackle and she's like fi- you know fi- <laughs> really into big fish. but no like you know <laughs> Uh, these these various like possibilities, like Time Magazine, like you know, world's most influential artist, and it's the most absurdly hipster version of Sasha, where she looks like Cruel, like Cruella Deville, Sasha, you know, like pretension, yeah, pretension just like bitch. yeah, like, <laughs> and you have all these different, like all these sort of different uh, magazine covers, sort of like give these glimpses to the various, specifically Sasha's, not Lexi, okay. And I think that's a okay. kind of an, an important um, distinction. Is there is is there a version of Sasha that uh, is on an a a uh, sort of I guess like a health magazine or something like a like a medical something? Oh like, hell yeah! I'm oh looking, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah for, obviously. Like I'm if, for if a instead of going of to Sasha instead of could... wasting your life going to art school, you had went into like like a, a medical or nursing or something like that oh yeah i'll find well, i'll find that version you know health and, and wellness gonna... uh, health and wellness weekly or some shit Ooh, okay sasha the the psyche like the psychologist you know there's like a psych man no that's not psychology helpful. today give me give, yeah. me give me the prick give me the give me the give me dr sasha god damn it and i start looking for versions of sasha that are like potentially helpful to the situation here um <laughs> Interesting. All right, we're going to cut back to Rory. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rory? Yep. Some of us know better than to leave the scene of an accident. Uh, 
I'd say with your spells, it's probably like uh, within bounds that you would have various rituals and stuff like active, you know, some short term, some long term. Uh, and I'd imagine that uh, not so much like a scrying, but like, a, you know, Sasha's in danger type thing, or sorry, Lexi, Lexi uh, is yeah. in danger type of thing. And uh, that goes off like big fucking time. Like, cosmically. <laughs> what the fuck, Lex? I don't have time to talk about it. Sorry. <laughs> God. Mm. Uh, <laughs> have emergency services arrived yet? Oh yeah, like emergency services there. Uh, there's like <laughs> you like, like there's like some slack jawed, you know, sort of bystander who's sort of like come out of one of the, like one of the bars nearby, and they're you know they've sort of like leaned on the door, you know, and they're just in awe of the display, and you can sort of see inside to the television, right? And it's got to be Bob Barker again, right? He, he stops talking to the contestants. He stops, like, the whole thing. And he just sort of, like, turns away from, like, whatever he's doing. And he just is looking at you with a smile. Fuck. Sort of like, there's no microphone. You know, he's had that really classically. He's got that super classic one. There's no microphone. And he just sort of, like, crosses the arms and looks out. And just gives you the 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 wryest smile imaginable. All right. Uh, the I assume there's like a cop with a notepad. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cops tend to be uh, yeah. or, uh like uh, can often be on site even before like the ambulance and stuff like, like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's gonna take a statement. Yeah. Let's be like, all right. I have to find my wife. So he's going to grab his pad and his pen. Here's my statement. Here's my contact information if you need further clarification. Uh, uh sir? Yeah. I think a little mind occult to, to work a Jedi <laughs> mind trick on him to not have him be too much of a dick right now is in order. Sure. Occult? Your sphere mind. Yeah. You said with occult also, or just yeah, just mind, occult and mind. That'll okay. be your dice pool. Or mind is aspect, so it's six. That's four successes. Yeah, he just like, uh, uh, all right, uh, it will be in t touch. Of course, thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'm just going to, like, run down the alley, or okay. I'm going to blade down the alley. As you <laughs> run through, you know, like, every window you run past, every reflection, you just have this, like, sort of, like, gate, this sort of, like, slowly, like, walking reflection of various pop culture figures. You recognize every one of them for what they are, right? Yeah. And they're just following you toward the alleyway. Fuck, 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 you find fuck, you get to the end of the alley where the bucket is spilled from the water that uh, that Lexi found, and the reflection on the bottom as you approach the door is we got to get to our other callback uh, would be like Baloo, and he's just kind of like got the exaggerated cartoonish like like silent laugh, you know, as you get closer and closer to the door. And you sort of step in the puddle and the puddle just sort of, you know, fractures the image. The door is open. There's light. A green light. What the f you mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna wheel on in. Oh shit. <laughs> you feel like you might have a passenger as you do this. Mm. 
Enjoy the fucking show. Am I in a waiting room now? Ashley. Yes. You find yourself back at the Coterie House. The smell of something burning in the oven chokes your dead nostrils. Oh. Smoke detectors going off in God. a chorus all around. Uh, the fridge is partially open. You, it's the only source of light in here. It is night for you, unlike the daylight back in the other world. And you have a foggy memory of how you got here. You remember all of the events of the previous nights uh, for our chronicle for Ashley Dane. All of that is intact. You don't remember what I've called the rented world. You don't remember that really you rem you feel like you went somewhere that it was important that you did something you did something bad nice <laughs> and there is someone in your periphery wait no you just check and they're they're not there's this chorus of smoke alarms uh going towards the kitchen now kindred gives zero fucks about it, smoke inhalation like it, it yeah. can suck to see you know if you don't have like the right disciplines or whatever and <laughs> i don't <laughs> it, might, it might be overwhelming to your senses but like you're not going to die from like it, you give zero fucks about smoke inhalation i am <sighs> I don't, never mind. I I was going to say, I am going to pop, because like where there's smoke, there's fire. I was going to say, I want to do like Unswayable Mind, but okay. that's more like. So you can totally do that, damage. but I will let you know this mm -hmm. uh, regarding Mr. Whisper. Um, yeah. The call is coming from inside the house, so it does nothing for him or to him. Well, no, it's mostly okay. so she doesn't. It, it freak would the stop fuck people from in case probing you to, to find him. By the way, that that you have this apparition with you or whatever. Yeah. Well, no, I wanted to. I wanted to do unswayable mind for, and then I remembered that it, it's mostly like to like steal myself just in case there's fire. Mm -hmm. well, I think it's no, always it's, active anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll i allow you to sort of prepare yourself for a fire, for, you know, to, uh, for a worry, like a frenzy. Yeah. Um, and as I purposefully grab my glass of red wine here, uh, oh. you sort of round the island in your kitchen to see a burnt and charred husk. It is difficult to make out whose remains these are but the waffles on a platter stacked up Do some of the beach. but like even even um because she's that's because Sam 3 is her goal if something happened to him she would know right because the bond Oh, things are about to get so interesting, don't you think, Miss Dane? And with that, we're going to take a real quick break. You're a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Oh, uh, he and he said it, y'all. He said he'll do it on camera. You. My my yeah. other 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 romantic interest. I hate yeah. you. <laughs> <sighs> oh.
So having a wonderful time. Back in our world, our endless elegy. <clears throat> City Blues. Ashley Dame sees this husk, this the charred remains of someone on the floor, and uh, she sort of calls out to her blood. You know, if Sam Three is truly dead. Her blood would know. <laughs> and uh, your passenger pipes in. Oh, uh, let me help with that. Not only do you feel Sam's presence still, for the most part, intact. You're given a glimpse. Compliments of Mr. Whisper. The artist formerly known as the Static Man. Um, you're staring through a one, uh, you know, one-way mirror of some interrogation room. Where Sam 2 and Sam 3 are tied up back to back, currently being tortured. Oh, is that? Does this vex you? Who is this on my floor? That looks like a warning. From <laughs> oh, you misunderstand our arrangement. I don't even know who the fuck you are. You will. <clears throat> First light. And she's fucking whatever is the waffles, whatever the fuck is just like thrown, like just everything. She fucking wipes the counter with her arms, just like cleans it. There is a Game Boy Switch. Uh, sort of charred next to the this individual. And you see the sort of like custom buttons and stuff like that and uh, Oh no! You dirty dog! <laughs> no! <sighs> Why? Not the, not the basement, boys! One of the basement NOS came up <laughs> Was peckish. Oh, you, you never leave the basement, you turds! That's how you die! <laughs> <laughs> Wanted a midnight snack. My friends. Had heard good things my... from Sam's cooking. Those are my friends. <sighs> my friends. <laughs> and uh, it's about this point that you realize uh, much of the uh, your house, the Coterie house, has been tossed. Wait, we spent XP for those basement nerds. <laughs> We're... Oh, you know There's what? role play and role play. R-O-L-E play and R-O-L-L play. No. Hold on. Speaking of the Coterie Street, let me open and... that up real quick. And player actions have consequences. You mean Ashley's actions have consequences. And I Ashley's actions it. have consequences. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ashley is going to pick up her phone. Uh, we are, we are tap. By the way, we are tapping into the coterie sheet tonight. We are tapping that bitch uh, because we have a merit called Firehouse. It's a Portillion. <laughs> we have three yeah. dots in yeah. Portillion with that one. Yeah. 
and uh, she's hey, going to call the firehouse. Actually relevant. Hello. Hello, Coterie Cheat. <laughs> Hi, we haven't seen you since character creation. How you <laughs> <laughs> A little bit, yeah. We even oh, have two dots in the security system. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> Yeah. No, Wait, we actually, also have two dots. Decision making. We also have two dots in hospital. <laughs> but let's go. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. None of these help a um, trashed house though. Yeah. <laughs> no, but a None. no a, a firehouse does actually. None of these help Ashley's bad decision. You want to uh describe to the audience <laughs> uh what you're doing here? Uh yeah. I'm... Uh she's gonna call oh. the local firehouse. Mm-hmm. Um, and talk to the station chief that she's in contact with and uh, describe that she needs um, on-site assistance with getting rid of something fire-related. This is one of those... uh... Emergency emergencies, right? You could say that. I went to do a Boston accent and that came out instead. It's okay. <laughs> uh, it sounds like one of the guys from the, actually, a Chi- I think the Chicago Fire, one of the Chicago Fire Chicago guys. Chicago PD. Oh, there you go. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I... Um, an unfortunate event happened while I was at, while I was out of my home, and uh, <laughs> I need uh, your assistance. And um, can you also get a hold of crime scene investigators? Uh, considering this is uh, one of them calls. A donation will show up to your fire sh- station in the next few days. Good, because we got that uh, MS uh, charity drive coming up here. Perfect. Love putting cash in boots. I do every time they fill the boot. Yeah, fill the boot, people. One of my friends died from uh, uh, the, uh, from DeChain muscular dystrophy. Uh, <laughs> Rest in peace, Craig. Um, yeah, so uh, Rory, hi, stop. Uh, you have sort of come running through one of those spinning doors, right? You find yourself in a uh, a green lit uh waiting room and it's definitely a hospital oh, okay. waiting room but it's like a 19 it's like a 19 like 19 like like sort of 50s 60s like wait like waiting room you know it doesn't have like all the technology and stuff like that there's like a roller deck i imagine it took like two or three rotations one because rollerblades to actually get out of the you are no longer in your rollerblades <laughs> when you come through the 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 spiraling door the uh, i'm sorry the uh when you come through the waiting room door, um, the waiting room door sort of has the sort of central desk where you would expect to see, you know, some sort of nurse or on call individual there. It's got a number of those, uh, seats. They're almost like the, uh, like a bus stop seats where they're like, sort of like hooked together, you know, mm-hmm. very uncomfortable looking things, uh, po- like a bunch of tables with piles of magazines, uh, uh, sort of scattered about, uh, ashtrays ashtrays yeah, yeah. uh <laughs> cigarettes still smoldering in them uh you hear conversations yeah. going on with nobody around there are loudspeakers that every now and then chirp uh to life and and sort of like say just some indecipherable nonsense it's the sort of thing where as background noise you're like oh yeah they're like paging doctor so and so and stuff like that but as you focus when you sort of like go through your recollection 
you realize like there weren't any actual words that you could put together or parse together like they sounded like language but it was really just syllables or even musical notes that just sort of lilted in and out where the Lexi? waiting room should where the waiting room should sort of fan to the right and to the left you see the sort of like crash bar doors with the exit signs above and green uh, like on either side exit exit green light cat like sort of cascading through the room and behind you another green exit sign these are the only sources of light outside the uh, spinning door and the frosted glass sort of like bay style windows uh, you should be able to see like a street side or something like that but you see nothing just gray endless gray and in the sort of center sort of offset in the room you see Lexi like staring into this magazine and she is in a word, wispy. She's sort of like floating there. Like her legs have sort of insubstantiated. And uh, and it's almost like these colors begin to sort of are being like sort of like when you, you, you do like a watercolor painting. And you sort of like drag the brush sideways and you just sort of see it sort of bleed outward. That's kind of like happening to her. Except these sort of like, it's almost like they're being pulled, the colors are being pulled away from her. And you see them sort of arc up and into this magazine. And the magazine itself is solid? Yep. yep. Well. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> Uh, I think Lexi is just there. She's kind of like tunnel visioned and she's looking for something like she's looking for something. Right? I would like your opposing wills here. Uh, what, what's the mm -hmm. die pool? Well, your willpower. Yeah. Your, yeah. Whatever oh, your like willpower the total will Yeah. Oh, whatever your willpower, willpower is, essentially. Yep. Or remaining willpower. Total is willpower. Total? total. We'll go with total. Okay. Let one. me see. Um, okay. Uh, I want to know the 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 total like force of your character's will, not like what remains of your willpower here. And um, well, I mean, and whilst it's out. been commented on, um, oh boy, I'm gonna lose the shit out of this. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's like not fun. some some games, some RPGs, uh, lament when a party sort of splits the party and you know they go on two different quests or two different parts of the city or or whatever reality fuck yeah two different realities at 1.3 because i Listen. just i go hard in the paint when i tell a game all right like <laughs> <laughs> all right listen i you know yolo um i rolled two Rory? Yoink. <laughs> Three. Uh, you rip okay. the magazine from her grip and uh, the sort of colors sort of bleed back into their respective places. Some of them actually bleed back into the magazine and some uh, back into Lexi. I you couldn't tell what? where one began and one ended, but as you've sort of ripped this magazine and, and indeed, like, there was a point where your fingers reached for the magazine and it was, like, incorporeal, you know? And you just sort of, like, almost, like, gripped, like, a like a, a sort of, like, a like a fistful of yarn, like, this, this sort of, and you just sort of, like, you know, sort of uh, smashed it together in your knuckles and pulled it out of whatever was going on there. Um, the I fuck are you Lex doing? Where the fuck are we? I think Lexi is... Um, she has kind of this frantic energy about her because she's looking for 
um, she's looking for something and she's she is, she says she made me promise not to forget her well i haven't forgotten and i'm looking for her and she needs to be here to help if she thinks she can just hang out of my brain and not do rewind anything. that like 15 seconds you, you like froze for a hot minute <laughs> sorry my internet is yeah, no, dumb. it's okay I she, it's just like... she, no she she freaks out and she's like she made me promise not to forget her and she's going i need to find her and i need her to help me and she's just like freaking out and she Lexi? she's like if she thinks if she thinks she can just hang out in my brain and not do anything and she's like i imagine there are like um um magazines nearby and she's just tossing them over her shoulder and she's like and in Lex. her mind she is she is calling for she is calling for the the voice in her brain to show up and she's like i haven't forgotten i need you to be here and she's calling for this person who has um hung out in her brain <laughs> Lexi, if she's in your brain, there are better ways to communicate. I don't know where you've put us. Uh, do I know where I've put? Do I know where I've put everyone? <laughs> she she wanted. It's I the spiral room again. The ro- this isn't. This isn't the room I was looking for. Why is it it like this? Do I recognize it? In a sort of... It looks different. Yeah. But it's the feel of it's the same. That it, the, the weirdness of it all. It It looks different, but it, it feels the same. It's like the way you can, when you wake up in your bedroom, even when all the lights are out. You, you you still feel like you're in your room and then you know sometimes you have those dreams where you wake up and it takes she's... you a minute to orient into your to realize you're in your room it's it's that familiarity thing where you 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 know if, if the lights were turned completely off and you weren't really looking at anything you would feel that waking up in the bedroom sensation uh, but everything looks wrong it, it looks different it's it was way different the last time you were here all right. She said, "She said she always comes back here. She said she would be here. That's pretty much how this works." And she Lexi? looks a little disoriented and confused. Do you remember when I told you I put certain protections and warnings in place? Should you ever be imperiled? This isn't peril, okay? You, I promise this is. Li- Whatever I just stopped, that was bad. No, she's, she you is me. She's. I realize that something has happened to you, but I don't think you're approaching it from the right direction. It's not an external problem, babe. It's an internal problem. This isn't going to help you this gotta go inside not outside we need to get out of here before something happens in here uh um i don't think i'm supposed to i don't know about you i'm certainly not supposed to be here can we leave how 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 did you get in here? The door was here? open. Uh, so the um, the the spiral or sorry, the the um, spinning door. Uh, Rory, you notice a reflection in it. Oh shit! This is a totally like a like a old school waiting room. There's definitely like a a box black and white TV somewhere, right? Like up in a corner on a stand like a <laughs> little like 10 or 12 inch you know um 
and it's just it's it's off right now and in that way when you stare at like the the bulbous sort of old crt screens uh they they sort of warp the reflection right like a, almost like a cat's uh, like a uh, like a cat's eye or fish eye lens you know um for you lexi uh it yeah, the green hue is 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 off, and it it hits the the monitor, and it does some weird stuff when it reflects. But you see the room as a reflection. You should kind of see when you stare into it, Rory. Um, the rest of the room isn't there. It's like sort of. Uh, like a void and you see yourself standing in just this void space and the reflection of yourself isn't mimicking your movements it's got this wry smile on we need to go what are you talking about i i, I it I have to talks, her. but you don't hear the words and i would like for you to roll a I think wits awareness or wits, uh, not technology. Wits awareness. I'll go with wits awareness to read lips. Okay. It should probably be like an um, intelligence base to read lips, but. Can we do intelligence instead? Sure. We'll go int awareness. Distal's place dropping a thousand RDP. Oh, I'm sorry, ability to milk to remind y'all that chat gang ain't nothing to mess with. And I'm just going to go ahead and take an apt sip from my Twilight Zone mug here. Totally unrelated to tonight's adventure. Mm. That's some delicious uh, water. I'm going to spend a willpower to reroll three dice. He's out of the way. That was a waste. Two successes. Oh, Thanks, no. Willpower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it seems to mouth something along the lines of... Yeah, we gotta go now. I'm just gonna grab her and start going towards the exit. We need to go. Uh, we need to be gone. Is there but, is there any way for me to uh, kind of How that happened? Um, uh, that was from my uh, one of my horror marathon layouts uh, in uh, <laughs> Little Nightmares uh, too. Uh, I think that yeah, I think with Sasha and just to just to like, recap I what, because like... I don't I don't think the audio might have all come through depending on how it was all captured. Um, sure. The uh, the the magazine is more like glimpses of other realities, right? Not the Sasha you communed with. The, the the sort of uh, check-in desk is absolutely where the Sasha you're wishing to commune with would totally be, right? Like, that just is is the most lo logic. And even if you pull your gaze that way, you can maybe, like, feel her there. You don't see, though. This place is a... This is a... Yeah. She... I, I think Lexi is looking for someone, like, smarter, savvier than she is. She's just panicking at this point and she's like 
I said, it's the vibe of like, I said, I wouldn't forget you and I haven't forgotten you. I think you're like this really great person. Please help me. And so like, <laughs> so that's kind of the vibe. And the so vibe like, uh, in her brain. Rory's like tugging at your arm and you're like, you, you're pulling away from him a little bit and sort of like oriented your body to like stare at, at the, the check-in desk. Right. Um, and you see like the sort of like log and like the stacks of just these gratuitous stacks of like legalese paper and just like these stress dream nightmare versions of like, of what you would have to fill out to check yourself into a hospital. Right. Like it's, it's, sure the the we're in this like absurdist sort of lens of it and uh you've got like an ink quill instead of uh, you know a ballpoint pen uh and a paperweight is a gun a gun you recognize is it ebony whichever one you uh yeah whichever one you you haven't been favoring we'll say it's an ivory oh okay that it, it's it oh wait it's ivory okay mm-hmm. um I think there's one thought in Lexi's brain as uh, this is happening. And I'd like to think there's this cool kind of like tagging in where she just says, I don't know what the hell is going on. Like oh, in her brain, she's dude. Like, I, ha- I don't know what is going on, but I, I, I just here you go and she tags in to whatever version of sasha is living in I her have, brain and she just absolutely I just wanna, checks out i want a live riff for you okay if, if you're okay with this when you favor sure. ivory it's Sasha. No, no, well when you or uh, rather when no. you think whatever whichever one yeah is is that where you're going no, with this sasha sasha favors ebony okay but then like um, no, it's just a matter of, like, Lexi is absolutely overwhelmed, and she has no idea what the fuck is going on, so she's just, like, she remembers the conversation, and, you know, Sasha being like, oh, yeah, don't forget about me, and she basically just tags in, and she's just like, okay, you know what, cool, you got this, right, and she tags in, and Lexi absolutely mentally checks out okay lexi mentally checks of... out the paperweight is now ebony and sasha has checked yeah. in like yeah. checking in and, that's and like the... and like we can even see like the names like scrawled on like like the the little like uh paper like who's checking into the hospital you know like sasha's checking yeah, yeah yeah like we actually see it just kind of like like sort of apport itself onto the paper like it just like fills itself in and, uh, Does Rory see this? Yeah, Rory sees this entire thing happen, right? He would at least see, like, the most overt thing is the gun switching. And it would just be sort of like a winking in and out of reality. Like, it just sort of, like, sort of vibrates in place. And it's and it's the different gun, you know? Like, uh, you know, sort of like a, a, a dissolve when you, uh, when you take the same scene and you just sort of dissolve one scene over the other scene. Um... But like yeah. it's everything's the same except for like one object. It's that that's the exact same thing. It just f- sort of like wa- vibrates until the other one's there. So um, so in so in my mind, it's the switching of positions where Lexi is now in the background of in the mind, and they're just hanging out. Okay. And there's kind of a I I don't know what the deal is with Roy and this reality <laughs> how much of it is present uh, you know whoever whatever but there's a very kind of co- cool confident voice that just says um all right i'm in charge now and she grabs the uh she grabs ebony <laughs> whatever it is that she sees yeah and well just you you'd have to done. like pull your arm away from rory we need to and leave lexi it. okay I get- I get, I get to do it, right? You need to Can leave, Lexi. Like, he just, says, "Yeah, yeah." I'd say like he's not like. Yeah, I'll just fall and just he's like. Not being like domestic right. abuse grip with you, like so. Uh, <laughs> no, all right. He's like, uh, it's a different, it's a different kind of vibe and tone of voice, but 
she just says, all right, I just needed to get this. Let's go. Uh, the PA suddenly begins to make sense. To both of us? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's as if a, just, just dozens of voices are speaking at once, like a choir, you know? And, and they sort of, like, allow who's singing lead to change periodically as the conversation ebbs and flows. You let him in here. You let him in here. And this sort of, like, <laughs> these dozens of voices all speaking in, in concert, uh, uh, every now and then, changing it up. Welcome. Why would you let um, me here? Uh, okay, so or it now that you let it in here, not him. Sorry, you let it in here. Why would you let it in here? Do you have what you need? Can we fucking leave now? Um, I think what happens here is that there is a loud kind of booming, like, yell that just says, um, whatever happens here happens because I wanted to. And she looks for the exit and starts sprinting. Like, okay. with Lori. Like, they're just like, I do what I want. It's like that kind of energy. And she just <laughs> yells very aggressively. You, uh... You hear the sort of, like... Uh... Rhythmic uh, clicking of, of some, like, loafers coming from one of the exits. You know, one of the two uh, that mm -hmm. flank the, the desk. And just a chill whistling, you know? You know, this is a doctor coming to visit one of his favorite patients. The reflection in the screen, Rory, you'll notice, is gone. You still see a void in it, however. Not the room. You almost even saw your own reflection in this, like, sort of, like, back and forth with Lexi... Sasha, sexy, whatever. You saw yourself after you said, like, I left, you know, I, I held it open for you. Or I propped it open, right? You see it just sort of, like, turn to the side and just walk off the screen. And that hallway on that side where the, the monitor is is where you hear the whistling and the, and the, and the walking coming from. Do I get the sense that this is like do I get the sense that the the version of Sasha that Lexi met is involved in this somehow like if she's still present she can feel her presence or the if this one, is a different Sasha The one you shot to be clear is not yeah. our okay, Sasha so she's Okay it's a different Sasha altogether. Got it. But like, is she still okay. around? Because I assume but the that duality the you, Sasha... you no, no, that one's fucking erased. Uh, you okay, erased I her from reality. Know. Like you erased her from Fuck her yeah. reality. Okay. Like she is fucking gone from that reality. But that is. But this that isn't the reality that that her isn't Truman the reality show that got know. canceled. No, no, your Sasha okay. that you are sort of channeling right now. Because for some reason, your Sasha and this Lexi are connected. Rory and Rory, those two are connected. And the Ashleys were connected. I think I've made it clear what the connection has been and why you've been able to sort of, like, connect a little bit. Uh, big hint, Rory knows what it is. for sure. Well, not Rory, but I think Michael for sure knows, and he can give you all spoilers if he'd like, or he can connect the dots for you on why is Rory, what makes Rory different than some other stuff? 
Well, Vori's not supposed to be here, but he's somehow here, and that probably has to do with. Wait a minute. The spider. Hold on, my brain is not brainy. <laughs> okay, is there is there an exit that? Oh yeah, you just go back out the uh, uh, back out the spinning door. Yeah. Oh, the spinning door. Great. I'm gonna go back out the spinning door, and what I'm going to do yes, is there a way for me to take a a moment to sort of edit the scene via art. I don't think you've got that kind of time. Okay. I don't think. And, to, and to clarify, the spiral room. <laughs> Someone's uh, coming. The spiral room isn't Sasha's. Sasha tapped no, into isn't. this very powerful place from her perspective. The perspective always changes, right? That's kind of the... Yeah. Thing. So from... I guess we're tapping into it from Lex's perspective right now because that's how we came into it. But because the because Lexi's checked out, does the perspective change at all in any way, or is it still Lexi's perspective? And now Sasha's trying to figure out how to get the fuck out. There's less <laughs> light in there. From, there's less light in there from uh, the 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 the, the exit signs like blink and stuff for Sasha, <laughs> like like as if they're having energy problems. It's, um, <laughs> well, fuck. All right. Well, no, um, she's just going. Out. The glass is out. cracked on a couple surfaces. You know, the the the, the cigarettes the door that I came in. The cigarettes yeah, are burnt down uh, more, you know, things like well, that. Well, no, because my, because there's a very important distinction, right? Because Lexi was the version who really got deep into the art. So Sasha wouldn't be able to modify or affect the world the same way because she's not, you know. Her art is uh, Anyway, no, we could modify it. It would just be a different <laughs> kind of modifying. Cannons, <laughs> like guns everywhere. It's um, blood. Uh, no, okay. No, she just runs at this point all right okay uh y'all mm. run out the spiraling door uh, or at out the uh spinning door mm -hmm. and as you exit rory your glance can't help but be drawn back to see what is it like just this this figure in a like a sort of like a, a lab coat, you know, like a, do a doctor's coat and some and um, like the blue smock underneath or whatever. Pick up one of the magazines with Sasha on the cover and like lick his finger and just sort of like like giving you that same wry, horrible smile as he thumbs through magazines and he holds it in this like exaggerated way so that you can certainly see Sasha on the cover of it oh, fuck oh man let's make it even creepier it's like the swimsuit edition of, of Sports Illustrated right like <laughs> just to make it even oh you know and he just like he kind of gives you one of those like approving like you know nods like oh yeah and then like and then that wry vicious just just horrible I'm done, ladies and gentlemen. I am deceased. <laughs> he's not wrong. He's out of line. But he's not wrong. <laughs> I'm done. I am completely deceased. This is just done. Tapping the content warning. <laughs> no, but that's why we have the content warning. It was covered. <laughs> no, he's like, you know, it'd be the sort of thing where like, you know, it, I just see it in anime terms, you know, like his tongue is drawn like a little too long when he licks his finger to like turn the page. And it's got this really just mm. creeper to a thousand feel to it. You know, it's like super subtextual. Of course, I'm explaining it so it becomes textual, but it would be, you know, very visual and more heavy. Oh, that's so ridiculous, bro. Why are you like this? Are we back, are we back in the alley? See, that should be the kind of, like, horror scene that makes your skin crawl a little uh, bit. Oh, oh, it definitely succeeded. See, Whoa. not all horror is, is crude gore and, like, jump scares. So are, we're back I mean, in the I alley? I gore, but, oh, God. <laughs> did we get out? Where did we land? Did I, how did I fuck this up? I, I think, know. and I'm sorry, Rory, 
<laughs> I really had this like this story beat. You know what? I, it's my I, I fucking game. I can myself. I can make it in anyway. So as like you go through like a like a, a, a this spinning door. Okay. It's it's the sort of thing where where blinks of an eye where you would exit could be anywhere. Okay? You know, it's the, it, the as the door spins, like I said it, before, when you look outside of it, it's just a gray spance. Uh, but you sort of like catch almost like like these winds of, of different places. And your eyesight washes gray, Rory, and you're sitting at the breakfast table with a fat stack of waffles. Your mom whistling uh, uh, her one of her favorite songs. You're singing one of her favorite songs. It's like, my bonnie lies over the ocean. My bonnie lies over the sea. Like, she's just, you're singing an old uh, classically Irish tune. And uh, your dad's got the, like, the paper. He's actually got the funnies. Because uh, he's not lame, you know. He could be reading the like economy section. No, he's actually reading the funnies. Uh, fucking, he laughs like, "Oh, that's Calvin and Hobbes, funny as hell." And he puts the paper down. Rory, you ain't touched your waffles. Is Lexi here with me? No. Ah, uh, you're showing him. A Polaroid of your girlfriend. <laughs> Wait, and like Lexi's 80s? in the like Lexi's in the Polaroid. Is it is this the eighties now? Did we go back in time? Yeah, it was like like some oh, like no. dance or something like that, and like. Oh, oh. oh you're, uh, you weren't lying. Huh. Darn, if your uh, your mother would let me. I'd say she's down or she's darn pretty. You done good for yourself, son. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you yeah. don't want your uh if you don't want your uh your links to become your digits, I'd hold your tongue, especially at my table. Uh, your mom pipes in. <laughs> Can't do British accents. I I... Crush Irish accents. <laughs> <laughs> I <sighs> Sorry, I think I just zoned out for a sec. Oh, you've mm. been studying quite hard, son. It's one of those uh, waking nightmares, I think. Mm. So. What about if I don't mind, if you don't mind me asking, son? I mean, Lexi was in it, and she put herself in some sort of danger. I had no idea how to help. And there was this thing. I think it just wants to eat everything. It sounds like nerves, your mom says, like as she like comes over and uh, flops a nice dollop of uh, of butter, you know, like on on top of this uh, on top of the fat stack, and um, lays out some links besides and some black pudding. <sighs> some bangers, right, mom. as it were. Oh no, the the boys. Uh, uh, or he's got a, why is that a good, uh, good heart and a, and that heart's always led him great places. If his heart's got some twinge to it, I think he ought to listen. And I'm not suggesting, uh, Lexi ain't at one. I'm just thinking you, a little bit more than nerves here. Maybe you got to ask her what's going on in her world. You're picking up on something like that. Or, uh... 
Yeah, I, I think I was trying, but she wasn't listening. Hmm. Maybe you weren't asking, uh, your mom says. Far be it from you to be wrong, Ma. So you're probably right. Your dad stands up and puts a hand on your shoulder. Look, son. We came to this country. Give you opportunity. Always knew great things. I'm waiting for you. One way or another. And I know you got that big heart. I feel like I haven't seen you in decades. But there's no way that's... You're just tired is all. Your mom says. Real tired. I love you both so much. We love you too, son. They uh, both kind of wrap their arms around you. I feel like I might never get to tell you again. You know. Wherever you're going. We know. No mom, no dad. Never, never loved a son as much as we love you. Whatever demons. Whatever demons. Paul and that's you right so, now. There's so many. Hey. We left the island. Try to hope you never had your own to face some things. And at one point we realized we couldn't keep running. So we just taught, giving you all our love, teaching you right. Help you, whatever you got coming. We knew gonna be here forever, son. But this is big. We wish we could. I wish you were. I can't I don't feel like it's at least partially my fault that you're not. Don't dwell on that, dear. Your mom puts her thumb up, wiping away one of your tears. Love, you are everything to us. <laughs> Don't never blame yourself for nothing. You know darn, darn well, you're the best of both of us and more. We love you. Oh God, I hope that's true. We love you. And we know this thing you're running from. You can beat it. I mean, with you two in my corner, I think so. Yeah. 
I'm always in your corner, son. Always. But don't you know you you got you don't bring you got to bring this Lexi by supper one day. And your mom like is just sort of like. <laughs> yeah. No. He's. I definitely want her to meet you. Yeah, no, she's it. I'm or on it. I don't know, but I met your mother. <laughs> I knew he didn't. I know one who told him. No, I knew. <laughs> I knew. I told her I'd chase her across every star and every sky. I might steal that. You go right ahead, son. Um, Feels weirdly appropriate. If you found your... If you found yourself one of them, one of them star chasers, you hang on to it. Every world. Every world the uh, stars gaze upon. What? Yeah. Don't you don't don't you go forgetting yourself along the way? Your mom pipes in. I uh, the best thing I ever did for your dad is make sure he don't forget himself. Well, and we all need a proper. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> God. Here. Your dad hands you the funnies. Oh, you're going to miss your boss, but... It's something to smile at. <sighs> you two are more than enough. No, no. Take it. You'll need it. That Calvin and Hobbes, like I said. Oh, yeah. Let the yeah. snowman... Always let the snowman... <laughs> Yeah, I know. Your mom comes over and kisses you on the top of the head from behind. I love you. We never blamed you for nothing. Well, you got that big test coming. You studied. You know, you don't know everything, but you know your way. And that's enough. And here. <laughs> Take the plate. <laughs> Just a plate. Keep you fed. She like hands you your breakfast. <laughs> Take it. <sighs> Why is this the last? All right. I have to go. We know, son. Your dad says. We know. They both look at you completely like enveloped in the morning sunlight. And they've allowed uh, just but a crack through the curtains of knowing your condition. And in this moment, they are absolutely incandescent with it. They seem to glow as if they themselves are the ones radiating the room. I'll carry your light with me. They, their mouths move, saying something in response. But it's distant. For a minute, it, it almost reminds you of the loudspeaker. But not like eerie, just... Like there was a voice one time in the dozens and dozens and dozens, maybe. That you didn't recognize it in your panic, but maybe you could have plucked your mom's or your dad's out. It 
maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just... As the sun, as the light envelops them, you can sort of feel the paper that you're gripping. You get the plate and the, the paper, and you can sort of feel the warmth from the, the breakfast in your hand. And uh, the light almost sort of, the way it sort of like traces the follicles of dust, the particles of dust and stuff like that. And they almost kind of become solid. And for a moment, you feel like a kid again. You know, every every like object you pick up becomes a sword, you know, and suddenly this like newspaper is your sword and you can sort of imagine jousting at these, these particles of light and stuff like that. And, and then the light is all you see. And that sort of rotating door that we're as an audience on the outside of seeing were and blur into colors and shades of the different uh, peaks it gets at other places. Um, finally, coalesce. And uh, you're standing uh, outside the Coterie home. Sasha, Rory, you hear the sirens from earlier. Well, not from earlier. You see the Coterie house, like some smoke billowing out for the side of it. Sasha, Rory, in all your kindred glory standing there <laughs> Sasha you look over at Rory and he's gripping a section of newspaper um, they just fall down and he's crying Sasha <gasps> Sasha um like wraps her arms around him and kisses him on the top of the head just hoping that it's some kind of comfort. Hey. Hey. I'm I'm here. Are you okay? Talk to me, please. So my parents. Uh, Rory feels the squeeze a little bit tighter. In a non-supernatural, not painful way. <laughs> hey. Hey. I think Sasha kind of tries to help, kind of, <laughs> encourage him to stand, because they're outside right now. Is everything on fire? No, Basically it's just... is what we're... Uh, it's not like, uh, you know... Uh, like fully engulfed in flames. It's a there's a wind there's like the one window is bellowing a lot of smoke out, and you can hear some sirens on the way. Uh, allow me to have taken a little bit of a uh, creative liberty with your character Ashley, but having put two and two together that the husk is a Nosferatu from said basement, I feel like you headed down to the basement to an check on your Nos. Yeah. To see if there's more who have been taken care of in their own type of way. And so we kind of have this moment where, you know, you're sort of going down the stairs, you know, in a, on a set of stairs that are not the normal ones. This is a subsection. This is a, you know, like hewn stone and, and uh, this would be a concealed passage, right? Yeah. And uh, so you're doing that. And yeah, so you've got this outside. We've got this this billowing smoke and the sound of fire truck of, you know, a couple fire trucks. Uh, pretty distant, but they're loud. So they and and tonight seems particularly quiet. Um, I think what Sasha will do is lean down towards worry and just whisper. Tell me what you want to do. We'll do it right now. 
Tommy <laughs> Laini. Can you tell me why the fuck I didn't eat the pancakes? Uh, do I know and why, why is our house on fire? <laughs> do I know? Do I have answers for him? <laughs> I, I just want to double check with the ST. <laughs> I think so. This is ghost. Fuck if I, I think it's one of those like yes and Becky. sort of improv. You just kind of. <laughs> but yeah, no, Sasha kind of in a half joking way just says, "Fuck if I know." I haven't had pancakes in decades, and she just said, um, kind of tries to help him get up and says uh fire bad maybe we should leave up to you it's rory rory so fire ain't bad to him <laughs> i mean if my Listen. i live here if there's fire i should make sure things um mm. this came over that's weird okay um yeah mm. we need to make sure that Ashley is okay if she's home. There's a whole basement full of Nosferatu I'm concerned about. Um, oh, you mean those nerds? Okay, yes, sure. I mean we'll those check on nerds. Them. My... <laughs> <laughs> um, <No. laughs> Sasha is trying <laughs> to lighten the mood and just says, sorry, bad joke, right? <laughs> yeah. um, and then How what you... I will do. I'm gonna walk inside. Actually, like, it's a, I think I think, I think we can extrapolate where the smoke is coming from. Probably, so I'm gonna head towards is the kitchen. Is it reasonable for me to attempt to share the senses with one of the basement dolls just to check without actually going into the basement? I feel like I've met one of those fuckers. I feel like I have. <laughs> like, uh, do you in? Come on. They're Come rather on. recalcitrant do... about like sharing blood with you at this point. I think. All right, fine. I guess I won't check on the nerds the easy way. Um, and I, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna grab Rory's hand and give it a squeeze and just says, Return. Uh, all right, take the lead on this and I'll back you. I check my, I check myself because last thing i remember in this reality i went to bed right i was at home you were you were my own yeah you were uh yeah. kind of rocking what? It. What? what the fuck what the fuck am i wearing am i like pjs am i rocking some pjs like, yeah so you're in you're in whatever I'm... you wore to bed that night this is sort of like it's whatever not very, wobbly not very much of anything time all. whatever wobbly <laughs> reality yeah then you would have like tossed on a jacket no she's in there. um she's she's got yeah no it's it's she's in like shorts and a tank top like that kind of a yeah. um sleepwear set so rory probably has seen this before and she just looks down and she's like oh it's like, almost as if you are there any it's almost present? as if like you've sort of like like woke from the day sleep into this crisis and sort of like rushed outside on yeah, instinct. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of no, such things, no guns. Am I slightly no crispy? Do you feel like mm. you should be slightly Yo! crispy? How how much crispy does I mean, Sasha well, that, this? I would think like I the last fix, thing I can, I can fix this reality. <laughs> the last memory from this reality is getting smothered by Rebecca and then blacking out. So I don't know. I mean, did you have you'd have some like it? lingering ag damage. Yeah. You know, I, like like the one point him. left over that you need to heal. Um, is it visible? Like can I tell he's been fucked up by it's ag something? damage. There's probably like a it big It takes old a while for ag. Yeah, like Yeah, it, it takes a uh, time to heal ags. It's it's yeah. been Okay. In, in oh, it's in a very wobbly sense it's been like a day. Like, okay. Uh, you had uh, a nightmare and and woke up here, you know, like you yeah. you know, like some sort of like parasomnia disorder, like you wait. you sleepwalked here, you know. Wait. You you okay, in your so in your outside it, right now. Mm -hmm. just, yeah. And Rory's sort and of like Sasha wouldn't notice it. Getting into motion to rush inside to see the I 
I think Sasha's gonna use her natural strength to just uh, grab her and just said, wait, hold on. I didn't notice this before, and she just wherever he's showing signs of like serious injury, she just holds her hand up and just says, wait a minute. You can't go in there. You can't go in there like that. Can I use right. can I get right? Can I, uh, can I use can I use that? I'm sorry, you're, you're at this point. I also I don't know if Valorant, can I use Valorant to help him? Uh, remind me which one that is. That's the Fortitude 3 one. power that heals ag damage. Oh, what's the system? I mean, yeah, you should you should it's... be able to do it. Um, it's the, you heal ag damage and other. Okay, so I have... It's the Panacea, but right. for ag damage instead of willpower. All right, is this, could, okay, so this would be a one, this, I... I guess because we're doing other stuff, we I wouldn't be able to. I foolishly my didn't time. have my books open, <laughs> so I wouldn't be able you know, to. Oh, we, by the way, can't it's take the time. Yeah. Player player's guide page seventy five. All right, I'd like to uh, rouse the blood for three more dice, please. Sure. Um. Yikes. Okay. Cool. I'll take three more dice and get hungrier. That's fine. You got to get a lot of successes. Look, I'm trying. Okay, there's no way Sasha's not gonna try. Yeah, no, it's fair. All right. It's just, speed mode Look. is very hard. That's okay. Oh, that's not as okay as I thought it would be. Okay, cool. Um, let's count these. Let's count these bad boys up. Whoops. Um, let's see. One, two. You need multiple. Okay. Basically, multiples of three successes are going to heal a point. One, two, damage. three, four, five, six, seven. That's two. enough to heal one egg. Yeah. I, I'd say that he's fully healed now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. And she just. I think when she grabs his hand, it kind of just happens. Where she says, "Wait, don't go into the fire yet." And then that's when the. Uh. I guess Sasha, like, channeling her Fuck blood Libby. just transfers transfers the healing properties of her vitae and it just happens. How the fuck did we get here? Rory? Rory? I wish I had answers for you, but right now everything's house. on fire. Right. Yeah. Yeah, okay, wait. How did you... And she Burning looks house. at where... <laughs> How did you get burning hurt house. like this? Sunlight. Were you in the? I'm, I'm, I'm what? running and I'm grabbing the fire extinguisher. All right. <laughs> oh, so, uh, Rory rushes in. Um, you linger a moment, Sasha, in place as your blood. It's like um. You know, like you're you're constantly trying to like uh, share the census with folks. Sure. Constantly. Yeah, no. Think of it it's like radio new, stations. You know. It's a it's a new hobby. Like we're yeah. trying something new out. Come on, listen. Yeah. You know, Sasha's trying Sasha. new things. And uh, hey, <laughs> listen, to radio Sasha. Uh, you sort of like pick up an old frequency that was dead. What? And it <laughs> like oh. the eyes are sort of like for a mo it's like almost like like I said it's like a you know like the, you just sort of like left the radio on and uh, you didn't realize it you know the volume was low and it was just sort of becoming white noise and then like you just suddenly you you feel this you know the station come online and sharing the sense it's it's eyes from a vantage point far away down the street staring at you and it pulls your gaze naturally to a sort of armored van where Do I recognize this van you recognize the type of van you've oh, seen them before and uh folks in these like sort of like uh you know uh Nondescript SWAT style uniforms are toss currently tossing 
uh, uh, D Wayne into the back of one of them as Zorin stares at you. Wait, wait, he's staring at me from where? From beside the van. Wait, he 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 did the thing. And he me? wait, he's alive. And he gestures to like a couple of the SWAT bros to finish up their tasks. So they hop in. He hops on his motorcycle wait. and follows no. it. No. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, Rory's run in? Yeah. Like he slipped out of my grasp. Mm -hmm. And oh, you see Zoran giving see orders light? to first lighters. Oh no. Oh, uh, no. Your sh Fuck ability you. to share the Fuck senses you so much. dissipates Fuck as you his so your much. blood in his system sort of erodes, and he gives you one last cold regard from his motorcycle before driving no, off. No, 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 fuck light. you! And the number of your Nosferatu. Is my, is my motorcycle nearby? No, but we're going to call it there for the night. Fuck you! Ah! Table flip! You're a bitch. No! <laughs> <laughs> I hate you! All right, Why did you me? No! Does he have a goatee now? This is an important question. Oh yeah, because all no! evil people have goatees. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh, no, it throws off Zorn's look way too much. Oh. He might have stubble and clean shave. It. He might like be stubbly. Like he has like the the stubble. No, no, no! I am so upset right now. No. <laughs> I hate it. You're gonna make me kill the bastard too. I know it. Fuck you so much. No, I, we can't. Oh. So for those of you who might not have, who might be tuning in for your first time, um, her ex boyfriend who was dead, she just did art in the alternate reality weird place to bring him back to life. <gasps> but I brought him back as one of the bad guys I now. I can, I can fix him. I can fix him. I can fix him. I can fix him. Fuck you. I can fix him. Are you oh sure? my god. Uh, I can fix him. No. <laughs> well. So, the person currently losing their mind, would you like to, you know, this has been uh, Endless Elegy, Second City Blues, episode eight. Uh, Shelly. <laughs> How are you shellying tonight? <laughs> you like I'm to, like... doing great. I, you know, like Ashley, you know. Um, <laughs> well, we might lose Sam's, so you know. Look, he took out a whole line of Sam's. Can we talk about how he took out a whole line of Sam's? Just to be fair, the first Sam things. was dead in the current canon, so I felt it's zero true. remorse killing him. True. In true. front of him us. Off. We killed him off camera. No! You took a while out ago. a whole line of signs. Sam, well, I mean, technically Sam 1 and, or Sam 2 and Sam 3 aren't dead. They're being tortured. So Yeah, yeah. I think I know where uh, we're going next week. Uh, uh, I've been Shelly. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm Shelly Von Miller. You can catch me everywhere on the internet at Shelly Von Miller. I've been playing Ashley Dame, the Venture Primogen of Chicago, who has a fake creature in her fucking head. Um, let's see how crazy it gets. Uh, this whole week is going to be crazy because um, tomorrow ends my fundraising goal for PCRF, um, Palestinian Children Relief Fund. If you would like to donate, we're like $40 away from our goal, and then I am going to be doubling it and so we're going to be um giving two hundred dollars away if we get to a hundred dollars um uh what else oh uh saturday is my 1k follower twitch celebration stream um so <clears throat> yeah come hang out we're gonna do 12 hours of awesomeness and then sunday is the season finale of um of um the Nexus SMP, the Minecraft uh, RP server that I'm part of. So it's going to be a great week. All right. And Michael? 
Uh, yes, hello. I am Michael. You can find me <laughs> online at places. Twitter, Sub Zero Jalapeno. There's the beacons. And you can see by my Twitter name that I am, in fact, the best crier in TTRPGs, as Real demonstrated talk. by tonight. Yeah, yeah, he rocked it. <laughs> It's it's true. It's I true. did that to that's myself. Why he's my I favorite. It's damn true. Andrew okay. Andrew messaged me why this morning. Like, hey, what do you want to do with uh, with the alternate reality? But I'm like, literally, I was like, cry. Oh. I'm like, <laughs> make, make me cry. my parents. Yeah, let's bring my parents oh into my this. That's you, great you, you, oh, I know. I knowingly you know. did this to myself. Don't Absolutely. Do that to yeah. yourself. Fuck you. <laughs> that was not quite how I was I'm expecting you to go so because bad. you know. The queens of bad decision making over here, but (laughs) I I kind of was lucky wondering if you join us, honestly. But yeah, that is me. You did that. Welcome to the internet. I don't. I I don't know if you (laughs) noticed. Like speaking of bad decisions, there were warning signs that you going into the room was bad. A bad decision too. By the way, did you get that? Okay, you know what. That yes. Rory going in there you know after her was it. a bad idea. Oh, okay. all right. Yeah, but I, I knew co- I couldn't follow. Not. Like I knew you were going to, so I just wanted I mean, to. Make... Not, not that when my a... cosmic spider sense is tingling. Like, that those weren't <laughs> like um those weren't like uh uh like that wasn't like me trying to stop you. That was me uh being able to say there was foreshadowing for when the bad thing happens later. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was foreshadowing. Yeah, you gave you gave uh you gave the you know the the Okay the wait, wait, thing, just important question. Uh, more Sexy things to anime eat. swimsuit so, Sasha so, Dead. So, so uh so speaking of uh foreshadowing <laughs> bad things happening later, how's it going Anne? Mm. It's going great, motherfucker. I'll get you back for this on Monday. Do you know um, how long I've been holding on to the Zorn's back, but he's evil now? Do you know you how long? Back and I'm gonna get I just, yeah, yeah, I just want to know. Would Rory still bang him? That's all. Obviously, I he's know. even hotter now that he's evil. What are you talking about? Like, it's not even a question. <laughs> I gave you uh, what you wanted, but you were non-specific everybody. as to the details of him returning. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you okay, but that's a point. Look, He's got a point. Look, look, as as a fellow storyteller and a friend, you were having fun too, right? That's what matters. Are to you me. kidding me? Fun. You you all flipping out is like one of my favorite moments of this chronicle so far, right? Like this is good. I, I hope you. I hope you take some time for decompression to watch me flip out some more because we're gonna put that all off screen in a minute but now, uh, now we, get, yeah. we, get, we get to roll for redemption arc uh tv or slash bardic inspiration network follow the twitch channel there will be things happening uh tomorrow there's some D and next week it's power rangers all the way down i think uh but just make sure you ch- you follow the channel and i'm going to i'm going to maybe pick up some more booze downstairs in the kitchen uh see you guys later <laughs> chat gang uh, i'm having so much fun Shelly, do you have Don't the link for it. your uh for your uh charity thingy you can throw that up in uh in uh the- yeah hold on all right all right, chat gang. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, I have been uh, the magical Mr. Mephisto, uh, your highly unreliable narrator this evening. Very. I'm like usually pretty unreliable, but tonight was like peak, uh, like like lack of reliability. So uh, I'm having a blast. This was, uh, and and if you've watched the first season of of Endless Elegy, Milwaukee by Night. Uh, you would recognize that waiting room. 
by the way. And the voice on the speaker is called the voice of all. And it was like, it was kind of a big thing in that first thing. So, so see how I deftly connected the two plot lines again. <laughs> see, it, like, and if you want that kind of amazing writing capabilities and narrative navigation skills, uh, follow me at uh, Mephisto Mori uh, on the socials. And you know, if you're here, I guess follow me here if you haven't yet already. Uh, follows are free. And uh, tune back in next Tuesday, uh, where I think this coterie has earned some violence. <laughs> so, first light, first light, first light. We're gonna kill some first light. First light, first light. We're gonna kill some first light. So after that, the just emotional torrent for everybody, just this roller coaster we've been on. I think we've yeah! violence is in order. Violence, and, uh, yes. Look, it's all about pacing, you know. You're gonna. What? Am I gonna? Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh. <laughs> so, I have planned. Good night, chat gang. I have planned. Good night, chat gang. Uh, remember, drink your milk, <laughs> pay your taxes. Be excellent to yourselves and each other. We will catch you uh, next week. Good night, everybody. I just, I just want 20 minutes where I get to yell at Andrew for... <laughs>